Are you optimizing all of your assets while minimizing taxes? And a lot of people, I think, get duped into putting money into a, a, a pre-taxed or tax-deductible IRAs or 401ks or the like, thinking they're going to be in a lower tax bracket when they retire. Uh, my first objective is to see how much better off you would be 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now and then throughout your retirement years, your golden years, if you repositioned your current assets and where you're socking away money, okay, without increasing your outlay, one dime. So again, I'm Doug Andrew, and I've been helping people optimize their assets and minimize taxes now for uh, five decades. And uh, whenever I would meet with new clients in particular, and then I would do this on annual reviews, in order to help people optimize assets, uh, I would go through basically seven asset categories. So let's go through these asset categories uh, and give you a brief little snapshot about what I'm talking about because so many financial advisors don't know how to go through and be thorough. And uh, when we look at these, uh, I'm talking about optimizing assets and people say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, uh, see, <clears throat> The key elements of a prudent investment are number one, uh, that your money is liquid, okay? Liquidity, the ability to access your money when you need it. You want to increase the liquidity when you're optimizing your assets. Number two is safety, okay? Not only of the institution, but safety of your principal, whatever you're set aside. You don't want to lose due, due to uh, market crashes or whatever. So you want to increase liquidity and safety. And then number three, the rate of return and you do not need to get pie in the sky rates of return if you can get rates of return in the eight to 10% range tax free. Uh, that will knock the socks off of an investment in a volatile market, okay, like stocks or mutual funds, where you would have to earn uh, more like 15 or 16% to net 10 after taxes and fees. And then I want to increase uh, the tax benefits uh, to uh, accumulate money totally income tax free, not just tax deferred. So that's what I call uh, the laser test. And so my book, The Laser Fund is named after that. Laser is an acronym that stands for Liquid Asset Safely Earning Returns. And I'll show you how you can get a, a copy of my book as a gift. Uh, you contribute towards the shipping and handling. And at the end of this episode, I'll show you how you can go in and claim your free copy because I'll pay for the book. Uh, it retails for 20 bucks on Amazon, but I'll cover that, okay? So when we look at these seven asset categories, let's go through them one by one and just uh, make sure you understand what I'm talking about. I would look at their retirement uh, assets, their, their qualified plans like IRAs, 401ks, 403bs, 457s, pension profit sharing plans or whatever, because most Americans are socking away money for their future retirement. And a lot of people I think get duped into putting money into uh, 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 pre-taxed or tax-deductible IRAs or 401ks or the like, thinking they're gonna be in a lower tax bracket when they retire. Well, uh, most savers are not in lower tax brackets when they retire. In fact, most Americans, uh, they are going down the highway of life, so to speak, with one foot on the gas pedal and the other foot on the brake pedal. They don't even know they're doing it. Uh, they're putting money in tax-deferred accounts. Defer, defer, procrastinate. And then they're killing their tax deductions, paying off their house. The kids are gone later on in retirement. You don't have those deductions anymore. You're not contributing money to IRAs and 401ks in retirement. So you don't have those deductions anymore. If you're a business owner, you don't have those deductions anymore. And Congress keeps raising taxes. So why are you deferring to some future perceived unknown advantage and then withdrawing your money down the road when most Americans who save money are actually in as high or higher tax brackets as they were ever in during their earning years, okay? And so uh, uh, I've never owned an IRA or 401k, never will, and I've never owned a Roth IRA or 401k because my favorite vehicle, the Laser Fund, has the two benefits of a Roth. Uh, my money accumulates tax-free and I can access it tax-free, but it has four additional benefits Roths will never have. Uh, I, it has flexibility. I can participate when the stock market goes up and not lose one dime when the stock market goes down because my money is not at risk in the market. Uh, I can contribute large amounts of money during banner years and I don't have to contribute anything in the down years. Uh, with a Roth, you can only contribute a certain dollar amount or a certain percent of your income. 
And uh, if you make too much money, you can't even have a Roth. Uh, that's why many savvy CPAs and tax attorneys refer to uh, my laser fund as the rich person's Roth. You don't need to be rich to have one. You can set one up for 500 bucks a month. Uh, but uh, if you make too much money, you cannot participate in a Roth. And so it knocks the socks off of traditional IRAs and 401ks or loss. And so we would reposition money that people were contributing to those types of accounts into something that was better, okay? The best. If you go to college funding, so many people that I would meet with were socking away money for their children or grandchildren's college funding accounts. The most common would be a, a 529 plan. Well, the problem with the 529 plan, it's, it's tax advantage, but that's only if uh, your child or grandchild uses it for, for college expenses, okay? Uh, if they get a scholarship and they don't use it for college, but they wanna use that money for a down payment on a home or to start a business, they have to pay tax on it. Why, why do you want those restrictions, okay? And so if you set up a college savings plan with a laser fund, not only will it be tax-free regardless of how your child or grandchild uses the money, uh, it will always be tax-free. But if you happen to pass away, uh, it increases in value and, and, and self-fulfills the plan. It, it, uh, if I die, then uh, if I have 5,000 in the 529 plan, it blossoms to, to 500,000 uh, because it has insurance coming along for the ride. 529 plans are not self-fulfilling like that unless you buy a separate insurance policy. So it's far better to put your money in a laser fund than a 529 plan. If I ran into business owners, uh, so many business owners don't understand that uh, it's way better for them to save for their retirement using an executive bonus plan in a tax-free account than putting money into the company 401k or, or any other type of qualified plan because, again, they're likely not going to be in a lower tax bracket when they retire. But there's a lot of other strategies, uh, such as buy-sell agreements. Uh, in case uh, the business owner happens to pass away, you want to make sure the spouse and the family uh, gets the value out of the business from a, a, a partner or from a competitor or somebody else. Uh, key person insurance so that the business would continue to be able to operate until they got somebody trained if you happen to check out sooner than later. Uh, but probably the most popular use of the laser fund for business owners is as a working capital account. And I have many business owners who do exactly what I do, where I run my business and I have working capital that I need to buy inventory if I'm gonna print you know, uh, 10 or 15,000 books. Uh, when I do that, I've, I've gotta be ready to write out a check for 30 or $40,000 or whatever. And so where do I keep that money? as I sell books and then I, I build up the cash in order to pay for the next printing or whatever, or if you're running a plumbing company or an electrical company or whatever it is, you have working capital. Well, so many business owners, they just go about in their business and they keep their working capital in a checking account or maybe a savings account at their bank or credit union earning next to nothing and they end up with 50,000, 100,000, uh, even a half a million or a million dollars sitting there uh, as a working capital account. Why would you do that? You can set up a laser fund for your working capital account and it's uh, just as liquid, if not more liquid than a bank or credit union if, if things got really bad in America. Uh, this is where banks and credit unions put their money for liquidity and safety. But see, uh, you can earn a rate of return uh, of five, eight, 10, 15, 20% on your money tax-free instead of what the bank is crediting you on your checking account. Why would you earn you know, less than 1% on a business checking account when you could be earning you know, 10, 15, or 20%? But not only that, if I need money, okay, I don't have to disturb that money in the laser fund because uh, the insurance company will loan me the equivalent of how much money I have in that account. Why would you borrow from the insurance company? Well, because they'll loan you the money like at 2% or 3 or 4 or 5%, and they'll keep crediting you 10, 15, or 20%. I had a business owner in 2017 that borrowed a million out of his laser fund to, uh, to buy a, a strip mall and fix it up and flip it for a $3 million profit. He borrowed a million uh, from his uh, laser fund insurance contract. They charged him 5% on that million. That was 50 grand, but they credited him 250,000 that year on his million. So he netted 20% uh, or 200,000 tax-free on the money in his working capital account while he was actually using that money to make 3 million in his business. Uh, see, business owners understand how to become their own banker. 
How about estate planning? Uh, there's a lot of people that uh, they want insurance in place in order to maximize what they leave behind or maybe to cover expenses such as uh, an inheritance tax if they have a large estate or whatever. I've often said, why would you leave behind when you pass away, uh, you know, X, uh, let's say a million when you could leave behind 5 million? Why would you leave behind 5 million when you could leave behind, you know, 20, 25 million if it doesn't cost you anything? And people go, well, how can it not cost you anything? because you're structuring a laser fund so that the insurance is coming along for the ride, you're repositioning assets to optimize them. And the death benefit is coming along for the ride that will maximize what you leave behind when you die. So it is the best estate planning tool I've ever, ever seen. How about capital transfer? What's that? So many people uh, have within a five or 10 year period, a lump sum, uh, sort of a windfall, either uh, in profit or from the seller of a business, or maybe they downsize uh, from their residence as they approach retirement and they have a lump sum of money. Uh, sometimes people get a, a settlement from an accident or a lump sum uh, payout uh, when you retire from the, the company that you worked for, whatever. When people have a lump sum of money, maybe they inherit money, they always say, Doug, where should I put this money? Well, I show them to put it into a tax-free laser fund so that they can accumulate that money if they end up with a uh, 500,000 or a million or whatever the, the lump sum is, then I want them to earn a rate of return of eight, nine, 10% tax-free. If they need cash flow, every million can generate 100,000 a year of tax-free income. But at the end of the day, if they die, that million blossoms to two and a half million, okay? What else will do that? That's called capital transfer. What about pension maximization? Uh, that's for those who have pensions when they retire, such as school teachers, police officers, firefighters. If you have a pension, the state where you uh, are retiring from will try to convince you to take a survivor benefit, to take a reduced uh, income in retirement so that if you die, uh, then your spouse will continue to get an income. Well, that comes at a cost. In fact, it's the most expensive uh, insurance policy you will ever buy. They don't tell you that. But see, if, if you predecease your spouse, uh, then uh, you cannot name a, a, another person if your spouse predeceases you. Uh, you don't have any flexibility if you got remarried. Uh, your children uh, get disinherited. If you simply take the differential and put it into a laser fund, then it doesn't matter how many times uh, if somebody passes away, it will blossom and you can name a new beneficiaries and your children will never be disinherited. So that's called maximizing your pension. What about a mortgage? So many people I met, uh, they were trying to get out of debt, for example, by sending extra principal payments to the mortgage company, or they had a 15 year amortized mortgage instead of a 30 year amortized mortgage uh, so they could get out of debt faster. And then I would show them the math. Hey, if you socked away the differential between uh, the 15-year the amortized mortgage payment, which is higher, and a 30-year amortized mortgage payment, which is less, you take that difference, plus the tax savings you will achieve during the first 15 years of a 30-year mortgage. Don't, don't waste it. Uh, put it with a system into a laser fund. That money will compound tax-free in the laser fund to be sufficient in 12 and a half years, two and a half years sooner, to pay off a 30 year mortgage, then you were gonna use the same money to, to, to pay it off with a 15 year mortgage. I can get you out of debt two and a half years faster and maintain liquidity and safety, which is uh, the, the laser test. All of these assets are what I helped so many people optimize. And so uh, we would go through and we would look at their personal profile, their income, the taxes, their children, their qualified accounts, their current assets and annuities, mutual funds, money market stocks and bonds, their liabilities, their life insurance and their real estate. And then this is what I would always ask them uh, at the end of the first appointment. Hey, uh, my first objective is to see how much better off you would be five, 10, 15, 20 years from now, and then throughout your retirement years, your golden years, if you repositioned your current assets and where you're socking away money, okay, without increasing your outlay, one dime. Would you like to see how much better off you would be by increasing liquidity, safety, rate of return, and the tax benefits? I, and I'm saying, I'm not talking about a little bit better, five or 10% better, I'm talking about double triple, quadruple. Would you like to see an illustration if it did not increase your outlay one dime? I never had anybody turn me down for that. I would recommend you have this analysis done. I'll show you here in just a minute how you can have this done. 
And then the second objective was uh, usually something like this. If, if you cannot achieve your desired retirement income by the age that you told me you wanted to, let's say at age 65 or whatever, 62, if be, because I'm optimizing assets, if it doesn't uh, meet your objectives, would you like me to calculate how much more you need to set aside or uh, uh, at what age you need to uh, put off retirement to in order to make sure you achieve your goals? Would you like me to calculate that for you? Again, I never had anybody go, no, I don't wanna see that, that report. People were blown away on how much better off they would be by optimizing assets and minimizing taxes. So I would strongly recommend if you would like to have a, an analysis and a report like that, the first step is to go to laserfund.com, L-E-S-E-R fund.com, or click on the link below. And uh, you contribute a nominal amount toward the shipping and handling of my best-selling book that's been flying off of our warehouse shelves, which is actually two books in one. This side is about 200 pages, 14 chapters with all the charts and graphs and explanations of why this is a superior financial tool to many of these others that I've been alluding to, to optimize your assets. Now, if you're more of a right brain learner, okay, you learn by stories, you flip it over, and this is about 100 pages, 12 chapters with 62 actual client stories. This retails for 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll pay for the book. You contribute towards the shipping and handling. I'll fire out a hard copy to you, but when you're in there claiming your free copy, uh, if you like to listen and learn or watch and learn, there's, there's options there for those formats. Uh, but you can actually schedule an appointment online to talk with an IUL professional that I oversee that will then help you set up a, a time to do an analysis like I talked about without increasing your outlay one dime, how much better off could you be by repositioning, optimizing assets. And then number two, if by doing that, you're still shy of your goal, they will calculate how much more you need to save or at what age you need to put off uh, retiring to in order to achieve your goals. Would that be worth your while? Uh, I uh, assure you it would be. So uh, do that now, claim your free copy of the book, schedule a time to talk to an IUL specialist, and I'll see you on the brighter side of your financial future.